Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we paint this commissioned 1 is to 12 Darth Vader open face model kit from Bandai. First, we fix the sim line, sanding with my Vallejo Flexi Sander, then using the Vallejo plastic putty to fill in the gaps. Apply the putty in two, three thin coats. Let dry in between coats. Use a hair dryer if you want. And you could also dissolve it in water so that you have a smoother finish. Using Mecha Color Pink as our primer, because the Mecha Color range doesn't really need primer, if, if actually, especially if you let it cure for 24 hours. So I'm applying the Mecha Color in three thin coats and letting dry in between coats. I'm using a hair dryer. I'm not showing it on camera because why why would i show it so anyways after three thin coats you could like let that dry again and then paint over the mecha color pink also i'm not really thinning the mecha color pink i'm just letting my wet palette my, my rgg wet palette to thin the paint after three thin coats the mecha color pink is a nice satin finish now we paint the actual colors I'm not using Mecha Colors anymore because I find it kind of tricky to dilute, like dilute it into glaze consistency. It's kind of weird. So anyways, I'm using model colors. Oh, I'm not using model colors. I chose to use medium flesh from the Nocturna set. You could use beige red for a model color, but I ended up using medium flesh. Medium flesh is like a lighter version of Mecha Pink. Although it feels like it's game model colorish in terms of when whenever you dilute it with water. So I'm just applying it over like raised areas of the face um, without actually thinking of a smooth finish. It's basically some people call this sketching. Also I'm not diluting the medium flesh with I'm, I'm just letting my wet palette dilute it into a nice consistent um consistency anyways i'm painting over the raised areas and going back over it like around three times until i came up with a very subtle transition and a nice skin tone now we're using fairy flesh it's like a bit darker than model color light flesh so we're not thinning it and we're mixing a bit of the previous color which is medium flesh so that we have a smoother transition like i always say you don't really need to buy all these colors you could like mix the dark medium flesh to the lightest color that we'll use later and then come up with intermediate colors I'm ju i just like using them because i get to know all my paints or most of my paints at least so that when people ask us uh, we know what to recommend and and we know how this all these paints work also you could do this like smooth transitions by using a lighter flesh color and then mixing it into a glaze consistency and building up layers and layers of color or paint but i'm not a fan of that technique because although it's really nice i find it very time consuming and i think um, layering with different intermediate colors will, will yield you the same results now we're painting in white flesh it's a really really light color it's almost it's like almost as light as ivory although it's on the flesh side because ivory is yellowish and i really like this layering basic layering technique because i don't need to like um thin the paints into glaze consistency i apply all the paints the same way also as i've said you just you can mix like your your custom colors and then intermediate colors and build up the highlights as you go so it's a matter of like letting the wet palette thin your paints and applying the paints the same way all the way now it looks sketchy because we're not blending we're not glazing but now we have to glaze so using the medium flesh i thinned it into glaze consistency or wash consistency and i applied it all over the model and this will soften all the transition in one go now we darken the eye bags or 
the skin around the eyes or below the eyes where you could use mahogany brown or any red brown color but again we're using burn flesh um, from the nocturna set mixing burn flesh with peri flesh here because i'm afraid to jump into a dark brown color so it's too light it was a fail so where we i what i did i thinned the burn flesh and painted it over the eye bags and eventually i built up layers and layers but again it's a fail too because i'm too scared so now we're using inks <laughs> i'm i basically i mix game ink red and flesh wash to come up with a red brown color and then i did not thin this uh too much and i applied it over below the eye sockets and and the eye bags the game ink saved the day so <laughs> i came up with a really nice dark red brown color over the eyes i, I added more than i should because i want to give contrast to the very pale skin so now we do shadows with chalice red my fab color from the nocturna set it's a red purple a very saturated color i thinned it into a glaze consistency or wash consistency and applied around maybe two to three thin coats over the eye bag areas also i failed to mention because i'm so excited we're almost done i used the chalice red to paint over the eyes you could use black most people use black but i really love this color it's red purple it's the perfect shadow and it's it looks like it's such sat more saturated and has more like character than just painting it black now we're using highlight skin from the nocturna set you could paint with ivory or deck tan but i really love my nocturna so i use highlight skin also now we use highlight skin thinned it a bit not into glaze consistency but added a bit of water maybe one is to one with water i'm not really sure but it's not glaze we're painting over the highlight areas making the pale skin really like pale because based on my references the the skin of Darth Vader is really pale at at this stage of his career now we use model color white the whitest of them all so <laughs> basically don't use this for the eyes but I'm using it for the extreme highlights of the skin because I find it uh, I find I, I want more volume or more like oomph to the pale skin it's difficult to paint pale skin because you can't really add contrast if you add more contrast or washes it won't be pale anymore so we're adding white adding more to the right side top right side to give it like a zenithal effect once we finish the whole model now i painted the eyes off cam i was so afraid to mess it up so i painted black and then i painted dark green and then white highlights so we're done i hope you like the painting it's a very e easy step by step painting video not much glazing as i promised as usual so here's the before and the after pictures again i exaggerated the burned flesh around the eyes and and around the wound to give it more contrast because the pale skin is too like too boring so i added a bit more and i hope you like it the client loves it so i'm happy so we're done i hope you like the video do consider joining our channel so that you get to see whips and then stuff and join our discord community so like comment subscribe and do share the video it helps to grow the channel a lot saludos I am Don, welcome to my channel.